Hey guys, for today's video, I'm going to be playing Gwen in the top lane. We are against a Cho'Gath. And uh, today I'm going to showcase like what all Gwen could do. Because Gwen, I believe, is going to be released tomorrow. Uh, if not, the next day. So whenever the next patch hits, Gwen's about to be released. So I'm going to go over all the basics. So first, her Q. You can build up her Q once you've leveled it up. Uh, to get extra snips. So extra damage. Uh... So, you see this little bar that I'm building up? That's uh, the extra damage I'm going to be getting from my snips. So, when the opponent's going into you, that's actually better. Actually, you use Ghost here. So, I personally am liking going um, Ghost on Gwen. Just for that reason. Just to try to extend the trade. Because Gwen's level 1 can actually be like pretty nice. If you're able to stick under your opponent for multiple snips, right? So, I'm personally liking Ghost. The, um... Blue's in kind of a shitty spot now, though. So I'll try to fix that. Use my E to dodge. When I get my W, I can also use my W to dodge. So, the way the W works is it, it creates a shroud. Any uh, damage coming from a source outside the shroud will get just completely blocked. And you're completely untargetable. Something you could do against a melee matchup is I could do this. And you see how I'm not taking any damage from Cho'Gath unless he enters into the Shroud? That's how you can turn what would normally be bad trade into a pretty good one, in my opinion. So I think that's the most effective way to use um, her W when playing against a melee. It uh, actually can be a little bit broken. It's like, I basically fully denied Cho'Gath's uh, trade there, right? As far as the build, I think Everfrost is really good. Everfrost allows you to um, add a layer of CC in between your snips, uh, just so you can get um, a little bit of an extended trade. Uh, and it can also force a lot of trades in some situations. One thing you'll notice when you're playing Gwen is that forcing trades into your opponents is actually really difficult because you don't have any CC apart from your ultimate, which is a slow. So having Everfrost helps out a bit. Plus it gives you a little bit of extra mana just to, uh, because you will get really high ability haste with your with your build. That way you can rotate between your abilities as fast as possible. It really does help. Something I want to mention about Gwen's E is that with Gwen's E, uh, you can use it to, um, you can use your E wall using your Q. And it can be used as an auto attack reset. Say he's dead. I think he was trying to flash the wall. Although, I don't think he even had flash, so I'm not sure where he's going. So, I'm gonna keep the wave on my side. So matchups I think Gwen is good against, and what I think she's bad against. Do not pick Gwen into a champion with heavy, heavy poke. Unless that poke is coming at like melee range where you can trade back. Gwen has no sustain in her kit, other than your thousand cuts, which only applies on champions. So if you're playing, say, against like a Malphite, or a Gnar that deals damage from range, Malphite just spams Q with Comet. Nar will spam his Q and, you know, can basically stay out of out of range and can cut pretty well. But those are the worst matchups for Gwen. Something Gwen is good against is high HP... High HP and preferably low MR uh, top laners. Oh no. Jogas getting the business. So I went ahead and used my, uh, oh, nice. I used my E to extend the range of my Q. That way I can uh, get on top of the uh, choke out there. Also, you get the extra on hit magic damage with your E as well. So in order to shove the way as fast as possible, I'm going to use my auto into my E. That way I can reset the auto attack. And I'm going to shove in. So, we're going to back. We're going to have Lost Chapter and Blasting One. Yeah, 
Let's grab potion. So Gwen is really good at extended trades, but forcing extended trades is difficult. So that's the reason why we took Ghost. That's why we're going to be building into Everfrost. Um, I guess you could build something like Proto Belt to, you know, for that ex you know for that same reason, just to try to stick. The only thing is you cannot use Proto Belt while using your Snip Snip, which I think would be a fantastic interaction. But no, you would have to Proto Belt first and then use your Q. Can't use it during. In fact, there's a lot of lockout um, with your abilities. So I can't press my R and my W at the same time, for example. I can't press my Q and my ultimate at the same time. The only abilities you can use simultaneously on Gwen is your Q and the E together. So it's also really important that you hit the very center line on your Q. Otherwise, you'll miss out on the extra damage. And before you look for a trade, make sure to stack up your Q beforehand. I saw my Volbar coming up. Get the Shogun out the business. So I'll let my ultimate give a little bit of a slow, just so I can force a trade. Champions that look to like really heavily cut you, I think would be hard for Gwen to deal with. Or champions that have like really, really insane all in melee form, like Trinmir or Aurelia, I think would also be hard. At least early game. Late game Gwen is freaking ridiculous because her cooldowns are like nothing. Late game. Shut down. And uh, she deal, she'll deal like 5% max health damage per strike with her Q. Um, at least when you get the center line with Thousand Cuts. And it becomes just insanely, insanely broken. Ooh. Oh, that was actually bad. Run away. Sound fun. So if you... So it's a little bit finicky. You have to cast your W first and then use your E. And you have to cast your E at an angle where you don't actually leave uh, the area. Or else um, your W will follow you and you won't get that trade like you saw earlier on. Good boots. So, if you do play Gwen and you blind pick Gwen and you do get a hard matchup, so you do get something like a Malphite, a Gnar, um, some of a Pokey from range, instead of taking Sorcery, take Resolve a second. This guy's just dead. So yeah, 50% slow. Ups out a lot. Plus, your ultimate can apply a lot of stacks of your passive, which can deal just insane damage. So, my personal thoughts on Gwen is I think she's kind of niche in terms of, like, the matchups you can play against her. But if you know how to play um, the hard matchups and get through any phase, she can, be, she can deal a lot of damage in the mid-game. So, let's see. My Q right there actually didn't do as much damage. She did about 300 damage, although this is on a 3 second cooldown, which is kind of nice. So, 300 damage every 3 seconds, not too shabby. And that was without even my Conqueror fully built. Janna OP. Janna actually has 4 kills. So it looks like their Gragas just permaganking bottom. And then uh my Vulber's permaganking top, so it's just splitting up. That works out well for me. So now that I've ever frost, I can use my Q. Or sorry, my ultimate. I hit the ultimate into Everfrost into landing my other two parts of the ultimate. So my ultimate can apply 
a thousand cuts to all enemies hit so in a 1v1 it's pretty effective but even in a team fight it could be extremely effective just because it can apply your passive to all enemies hit giving you a ton of healing so speaking of healing the reason i have conquer is that we're looking for extended trades and we want to get those that insane amount of healing on all the damage we deal not just from the passive so we got rift thinking we're gonna force it here you know Gragas is taking uh, red buff at the same time. I'd be a little bit careful here. So their Caitlyn came up. If I use my W there, I'm pretty sure that uh, the um, Volbert dies. I'll turn that around. I can't even really want the ball burn. I was pretty low too, but I even have to W there. So I can use my W just for the extra armor and MR. I was saving it just in case um I needed to try to block in a building. So I imagine Gwen's W to be a lot of like sets W, where you don't want to just like instantly use it every single time. Just because when that's down, that's uh, just a way that you can get caught out. Uh, I'm just going to overfrost him. Even if he does just root, it still gets me away. He has Predator, so i got to be a little bit careful. So against this team, I'm going to build Merc Treads. I'm going to want the extra Tenacity. I do have Legend Tenacity too, but I want the MR. And it's recommending a lot of items. The item that I recommend personally is Cosmic Drive. Just because it lets me rotate through my abilities extremely quickly. Uh, as well as give me a little bit of move speed uh, to help stick on my opponents. Or to like cut between abilities and all that. So I think we're going to shove up top and I... I think we want to rotate down the dragon unless they're already doing it. An enemy has been slain. I'm just going to catch out Chogoth here. He's uh, a little bit extended. Yeah, I mean, I didn't take any damage from the Chogoth there just because, one, I used my W to block his first Q going in so that's his main disengage but then also i'm getting so much healing from my q uh from the a thousand cuts passive and uh my conqueror as well all right we could try to force um yeah by the way if you're playing top lane and you know that enemy jungle is just getting killed over and over again uh maybe just play a little bit safer i don't know Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's so unlucky. Dang it. If I'd used my W beforehand, I could have killed the Lissandra. I'm sad. I honestly thought I had her. Anyways, we cut out the Lissandra there, even though she didn't die. Force her away, that way we can get the dragon. Nice. My Vault Bear's up. Beast. Oh my gosh, I actually have to flash. <laughs> the Lissandra passive too broken. I think if I walk top of it, I think I just died. Here, I should probably expect. So, I know that Cosmic Drive are also pretty good because it gives a little bit of HP. So, um, the amount of 
HP I get from these items just makes me a little bit more tanky. And since I am a melee, I'm going to be tanking a lot of damage when I go in. So it helps me stay just a little bit more durable. Which I think we can also build items like Zanyas and whatnot for you know, a little bit extra durability. So an item that I see a lot of people run on Gwen that I don't think is like absolutely necessary, like not even the best, is I see a lot of people run Nasher's Tooth. And I think this item can be a little bit of a bait. Just because Nasher's Tooth uh, doesn't apply on your Q, because your Q only applies the uh, your passive. It does not apply on head effects. Nice for yesterday to get a kill, but I don't know if I can chase her down. Yeah, air across Lissandra. Alright, probably want to play for next Rift Herald. I'm still slagging. You grab blue trinket. Uh oh. Well, Yasuo desync is uh, obviously not good. Oh, he's back. Although, how far back is he? We'll see. I think we need to end this game before uh, Yasuo desync matters. I'm pretty far ahead of the curve now. I see him not get like singled out by Lissandra and Gragas CC, and I think I can do a lot in a team fight. Check out bottom. Maybe went a little bit too hard. Uh, of course, Shogat's gonna come at me. Oh! Can dodge it. Dang, even if Cosmic Drive and all the extra move speed, this can gather. Alright. I think Lich Bane is pretty good. Nasher's a little bit of a bait, but Lich Bane is pretty nice in rotation with your abilities. Plus, it gives that move speed, which is uh, really important. So, right now we're working with 70 ability haste. Pretty good. Uh, we could just go for this dragon. Not too shabby. Mm, can't dash through here. I think they're, it, like... I think you can dash if you're like perfectly in the wall. Kind of like a ribbon can. Honestly, we can go burn. I think we just try to force this. I need the uh, ball bird tank. Gragas is over there. So maybe Cho'Gath would steal? Oh, it's uh, Janna, actually. I mean, Gragas and Cho'Gath are both still mid. So. Oh, 
Oh, Bobber almost missed that. Okay. I'll get Aether Wisp here. And we'll head towards Drag. Wait, Cho'Gath has a 200 gold bounty. What on earth happened? I guess he chomped a few people. Actually, wait, no, he got that shut down on me, that's right. So he got 1k. Now he's rich. Let me remind him. See, I'm taking like zero damage. <laughs> That's what it feels like to play a tank first Gwen, by the way. Like, Cho'Gath actually does legit damage, too, like, in the mid-game. Just because, like, uh, his, his base damage is, like, really high. Just the healing that I get between my passive and uh, my Conqueror is just too nuts. I'm trying to help. Oh, live it. <gasps> Holy shit. I think, did I live through the burn? I think I lived through the burn just because my W. Like, blocked the damage. I definitely blocked that at Gragas Barrel, too. Holy shit, that was close. Okay, you grab Lich Bane. Don't waste a minute. Let's see, against that team, I want to grab Banshee Bell for sure. I need seen. MR, like desperately. I need at least build Verdant Barrier. Something you can also build, you could build Demonic Embrace. Although I think there are better items where you can get just Straight up uh, MR and armor, if need be. The thing about Demonic Embrace, though, it also gives a, a bunch of HP. It gives 350 HP. Are we also still struggling? That's what it is. Nice. I wasn't hit by the ultimate. Just because of my W. Uh, get down here. Okay, got a uh, reset there. Oh my gosh, my E-cooldown is like nothing at this point. This is why Presence of Mind can be good. Because otherwise, like, I'd actually be running out of mana. Let's end this. We gotta end this right now. The longer this game goes, the harder it is to win at 45. Tanking double next turrets isn't good, guys. <laughs> uh, we get Banshee Bell here. Uh, I guess we'll go for the next dragon. I don't know. Looks like a Yasuo's here for the moment. Oh, shit. Wait, doesn't he just get eaten? Hey, Chogath's a monster. It's actually funny. Watching a Yasuo try to deal damage to Chogath compared to like me trying to deal damage to Chogath. I just deal so much percent damage. 4% on hit magic damage. Which I can apply, what, six or uh, four times? Or I guess it's six, it's six snips in total, right? I can't give up. No, okay, is this a lot of damage? And my cooldowns are so freaking low. Don't waste a 
So my E, it's a 5 second cooldown, but if I attack anything, it's a 2.5 second cooldown. And that's where, like, chasing down the late game, it just becomes impossible to Kyder. Use some W to block Caitlyn damage. Oh, she waited until the end. Four v five is hard. Oh, Gasto's back in. Will he lag out? Only time will tell. Maybe you can get that. We had a really nice pick on the Lissandra. We have a frosted her so she can get away. I think Valber wins that. Valber's just too tanky for Gragas to deal with. Although Gragas just face rushes away, right? Oh, he's got Predator in Alright, so we just have some, um, something on Baron. If they're walking into us, that's really good. If I'm having to chase them down, it can be hard to deal damage. I'm just gonna buy a straight up uh, blue pot here. I think we need to win off this fight. Gotta pick mid. We can do this. Okay, so I do tank the Kaylin ulti. And it like completely disappears. That's actually pretty nice. That's actually a sick juke from uh, Kaylin. Imagine you try to run away from a Gwen late game. That's just not possible. I just dash way too often. It kind of feels like Trinberry in a sense. It's a uh, snip sip. Oh, I think I blocked her. Uh, her stun there. Oh no! That was bad. Nice. Oh, he also actually can't deal any damage to this Choga. He's an absolute god. Okay. So, I mean, we could get Magic Pen. I help against a few of them. Actually, it's just the Choga that has MR. Yeah, he went Force of Nature's second item to counter me. You can also go Death Cap. You can also go something that gives us a little bit more survivability. I think we'll just go Magic Pen. If only it helped early. I mean, that's the thing about splitting map, man. Like, I got super far ahead, but then their bot lane got pretty far ahead, right? So, that's what it is. Alright, I'm gonna grab Red Buff. I'll help me stick on the top of targets pretty easily. Plus, I actually auto so much since I literally gained 80% attack speed. over. We got that kill on Gragas. And it looks like my team won elsewhere. <laughs> I think he, uh, I think he clicked the wrong button. Oh my god, look how much I'm just shredding Cho'Gath, by the way. I think I'm dealing, like, 1500 damage per Q on Cho'Gath. Like, at least. 
Gwen is immune? Gwen is immune. Alright, let me know what you think of Gwen in the comments down below. Hopefully this guide helps you guys out. And uh, make sure to like and subscribe. It really does help out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time.